Welcome to Slowpoke Travel. This is Camera Girl and Buck behind the camera again today. Coming to you from Santiago, Chile. We're going to take you through the metro system in Santiago, adding plenty of details, even for folks that haven't ridden a metro system. The three diamonds, that tells you you're at a metro station entrance. You'll usually see the name of the metro stop near the diamonds as well. And as with most of the world's metro stations, these are underground. And besides walking, this is what we use to get around for six weeks. To shoot this video, we picked a time that's a lot less crowded than usual. And sometimes it might take a bit of hunting, but you can find working elevators and escalators to get you into the station instead of using the stairs. To ride the metro, you need a BIP card. You get your card from a person in one of these glassed areas that can be found in each of the metro stations. And when you purchase the BIP, you'll also need to put some money on the card. We initially put 5,000 Chilean pesos on each card, which would give us each six peak hour rides and more outside of peak times. And you can use one card for a couple of people. In fact, the woman who sold us our cards was lovely and despite our terrible Spanish, wanted to make sure we understood that we didn't need the two cards. And in fact, all the Metro staff that we've encountered were very helpful. And for folks that have been here before, be aware that you can no longer buy individual tickets for the Chilean Metro. You'll need a BIP card loaded with some fare money. Once you have a card, you can use one of these self-service BIP kiosks for a couple of purposes. Just make sure to put your card where you can see the word BIP, not in the credit card slot. And on this kiosk, you will need to know a little bit of Spanish or pull out your Google Translate app or ask one of the staff to help you. So first, I'm checking my card balance. And this is something you can also do online without making an account. Next, we'll add some money to the card. There are some Chilean credit cards that can be used to add money to your BIP card, but your out of country Visa or MasterCard will not work. So we're not going to choose the load with cards option. Instead, we're going to insert cash and use the load with bills option. Again, put the card in where it says BIP and the rest of the transaction is similar to other machines that you probably let gobble up your money. Now this screen doesn't show a lot in English, but we have added 5,000 Chilean pesos, and so the balance on this card is now 6450. And again, with any of these machines, you want to terminate the transaction, then hit cancel after you remove your card. You've got plenty of maps and signs to help you get where you're going. And this first map is basically a you are here, and it points out a few landmarks to help you orient yourself. And in each station and on each train, you can find the current map of all the metro lines. You find your line and note which endpoint you want to head toward on that line. Some stops intersect at more than one line. And in that case, you'll sometimes find floor directions similar to these. And in this instance, we want to take the red line and we want to head towards San Pablo. And no, you don't have to follow the red line like me, looking like you're doing a sobriety test. To get to the train, you just match up your card to the side or top picture of a card on the machine. Go through the turnstile. So at this point you have multiple ways you can go and knowing which direction you want to go is helpful. So the nice thing is you still have a couple more checks to make sure you're headed in the right way even when you take the steps down to your train. This shows you the direction the train will be going and the order of the stops. And if your eyes are good and there's no train blocking your view, you can see the same thing for the train going the opposite direction. And at this point, if you realize you've made a mistake, you can get to that other side. And the nice thing is, for one fare, you can make two free transfers within two hours, and that includes a couple of bus lines as well. And we'll put more about that in the written blog. We ride a lot on the first train car, which is generally less crowded. Within our second week in Chile, we did have a pickpocket incident, which is not uncommon in large cities, most anywhere in the world. Once you're on the train, you can find another list of the stops that answer the question, how many stops till we get there? We don't have a shot of it, but on the trains themselves, you can find those metro maps of all the lines. So you've got a couple of ways you can orient as you're going along. And even in the metros where they speak your language, sometimes you can't understand which stop the conductor is announcing. But as you come into a station, you just peek out the windows and see which stop you're coming into. We experience people coming onto the metro to sell water or to do some performing. 
and then we saw the Metro has these signs noting that you're not supposed to buy or donate money. Now Buck noted that it doesn't exactly say they're not allowed on the Metro, which is, you know, subtle difference in message there. Depending on how crowded the Metro is, you may want to move toward an exit as you get close to your stop. And by the way, these stop maps do not light up to let you know which stop you're at. Now, as we mentioned, the metro areas can be a lot more crowded than this. When you get off, the first thing you want to look for is a sign that says salida or exit. If you just go with the flow, you might end up at an entrance for another metro line instead of getting out on the street. And again, don't hesitate to reach out to the staff if you get turned around. If you have a stop written down and you can point, I bet you can get your point across pretty easy. When you get to a train exit, you'll go through one of these double swing doors. You will not need your card to exit. And the last challenge you may have is that there might be multiple streets you can exit to. So here you're just going to match the street you want that you've written down beforehand to some of the signs. And then you're off to do your own exploring. And don't ask me why I feel so animated about this metro sign as we're exiting. And I guess this is our successful Metro Pride Dance. Well, thanks for watching. On our website, we've posted several links referenced in this video. And also check out floodpokestravel.com for other blogs about travel and house sitting with a little leaning toward older folks that still got some adventure in them. See you next time.